Hi guys! So I know the lighting isn't exactly ideal in my kitchen, I'm sorry, um, but I was just about to make my cold brew coffee and I figured you guys might enjoy a video on it. It's super simple and every time I drink espresso drinks, I drink them cold and so I was originally making them with an espresso machine and you know it would make it and it was hot and so then you'd have to put tons of ice in it and then it would water it down while it was cooling it and it just um, kind of got repetitive and then you had to clean the espresso machine so that it didn't have a better taste and I just was not getting it right. So something that I found that works really well for cold drinks is actually cold brew your coffee. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super simple. So basically what you'll need is a pitcher, preferably one that you, if it's plastic, one that you just use for um, cold brew coffee. And then you'll need coffee that um, is ground or freshly ground. If you freshly grind it, do a medium to coarse grind, which is totally different from when um, if you do espresso, which needs to be like super, super finely ground. So the rule here is one third of a cup of coffee, um, ground coffee, to one and a half cups of water. So I want to do this so that it's enough for like the week. So I'm doing four and a half cups of water. This is filtered water so that it tastes good to uh, one cup of coffee grounds. So all you do, you take your water, you put it in the pitcher, you put your coffee grounds in there, and you stir it, or if you have a secure lid for your pitcher, put it on, and give it a shake. So mix it up, and then you simply leave it at room temperature for overnight or 12 hours. Um, since right now it's about 9 o'clock at night, I'm just going to leave this room temperature on my counter until tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and um, then I will show you what to do then. Okay, hi. It's um, really early for me right now, <laughs> but I wanted to get this done at the right time. So it's been 12 hours, so now what I do is um, there's a bunch of different ways to do this, but I like to double strain this to get all the coffee grinds out just to make sure it's not going to taste like disgusting. So the first thing I do is I take just a, a strainer like this and I'll take a bigger bowl and just take the lid off of this and then just strain it. This is just to get the bulk of the grinds out. So now I'm going to wash this and dump this out. Okay, so once I've done that and then cleaned this, I take, um, I clean this obviously. I take it and I put it on a smaller bowl that I could just leave it on and it's not going to fall in. And then I take a coffee filter, just one. Put it on top and slowly, <laughs> very slowly, let all this strain through the coffee filter. This takes a while. So I have it like that. It's actually more even. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. So this will probably take maybe two, two and a half of these full, and you can see that it is straining. Um, it just takes a little while, and after this, I'll usually get a new coffee filter just so that it goes a little quicker because it, it tends to get like um, start going slow after about half of this. Okay then for the purpose of this video I um, this is what was in there so far just so I can show you how to make a nice coffee. So the way I do it is I fill my cup with ice and then I put half coffee and half milk and this coffee is quite a bit stronger than your normal brew. Just keep that in mind. So that was a little bit more than I wanted, but that's okay. And then for my own personal taste, I like to add um, Splenda. And then um, Tarani syrup. You can get this at uh, world market or you can get these um, online. I've gotten them at lollicup.com. I like the sugar-free ones. My favorites are the chocolate, the vanilla bean, the sugar-free van vanilla bean, sugar-free chocolate, sugar-free vanilla, and the sugar-free caramel. Stir. 
the hang of it. If you guys enjoyed.